Let's crochet a body of baby dog. Round 1. Start 6 single crochet stitches in magic ring. Pick up the cocky yarn. Wrap the yarn once around your pinky. Drape that yarn over your index finger. Loop it once around your middle finger. Hold on to that intersection point with your thumb. Stick the hook into the loop from the right to the left. Grab onto the yarn. Bring the yarn through the loop as well as rotate the hook. Yarn over. Pull it through the loop that's on the hook. And if you did everything correctly at this point, you can let go of your piece and everything would stay intact. Put the hook into the loop. Yarn over. Bring that yarn only under the first two strands of yarn on the hook. Yarn over again. Then, pull that yarn through both loops. On the hook. The first single crochet stitch in magic ring finished. Take the stitch marker in the first stitch. Now, let's crochet the second single crochet stitch. Now crochet the third single crochet stitch. The fourth single crochet stitch. The fifth one. Okay, the last single crochet stitch in round one is finished. We can count the number of V to ensure the number of the stitches. Let's crochet round two, start six increased stitches. Firstly, we need to take off the stitch marker in round one. An increased stitch is shorthand for putting two single crochet stitches in the same hole. Yarn over. The first single crochet stitch in round two finished. When we pull the yarn tail, the whole of the magic ring in round one will disappear. Use the stitch marker in the first stitch of round two. Now we'll crochet the second single crochet stitch in the same hole. Okay, the first increased stitch finished. Now, we will crochet the second increased stitch. The second increased stitch finished. Start the third increased stitch. The third increased stitch finished. Now what we are crocheting is the fourth increased stitch. The fourth increased stitch finished. The fifth increased stitch finished the half one. The fifth increased stitch finished. Now, let's crochet the sixth increased stitch. Okay, six increased stitches finished. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's crochet round three. Start six groups of single crochet stitch and increase stitch. Firstly, we need to take off the stitch marker in the first stitch of round two. And we need to crochet the first stitch, a single crochet stitch. Take the stitch marker in the first single crochet stitch of round three. Now, let's start the increase stitch in the second stitch hole. The first single crochet stitch off the increase stitch finished. In the same hole, we'll crochet the second one of the increase stitch. At this time, the first group of single crochet stitch and increase stitch finished. Now, let's start the second group of single crochet stitch and increase stitch. Great, we have finished the second group. Let's crochet the third group. Okay, the third group finished. Single crochet stitch. Increase stitch in the same hole.
Group 4 finished. Crocheting the single crochet stitch of group 5. And the increased stitch of group 5. Now, we'll crochet the last group stitches of round 3. Round 3 finished. We can count the numbers of V to ensure whether we get the correct piece or not. Let's crochet round 4, start 6 groups of 2 single crochet stitches and increase stitch. Remove the stitch marker in the first stitch of round 3. Crochet the first single crochet stitch in the first stitch hole. Use the stitch marker again in the first stitch of round 4. Crochet the second single crochet stitch in the next stitch hole. In round 4, crochet 2 single crochet stitches and increase stitch as a group. Now, let's crochet the first increase stitch in round 4. In the same hole, crochet the second SC stitch of increase stitch. Totally of first stitches from group 1 finished. Let's start two single crochet stitches of group 2. 1. Nest stitch. 2. Nest stitch. 1. If you forget the following stitch, you can count the stitch from the first stitch with stitch marker. Same stitch hole. 2. Well, crochet the third group now. Please notice that one group will occupy three stitch holes of round four. As for the increased stitch only occupy one stitch hole. Until now, we have completed three groups of two single crochet stitches and one increased stitch. Let's start group four. One single crochet stitch. Two single crochet stitch. One single crochet stitch of increased stitch. Increased stitch finished. If it's hard to pull the hook out, you can try to rotate the hook. Look like this. Okay, we've finished round four.